In today's video, I'm gonna give you a detailed step-by-step -step breakdown of exactly what you need to do to qualify for a Mode airdrop. Now, Mode is a new Ethereum layer two that's partnering with Optimism. They got a $6 million grant from them and they are calling themselves the Modular DeFi L2. Let's break down now exactly what you need to do to qualify for this Mode airdrop. When you first go to the app, you're going to need to use a referral code to get in. So I'm gonna drop mine down below. And if you wanna use that, it helps out the channel. Now, when you connect your wallet for the first time, if you have a history of doing transactions on Ethereum, of bridging to L2s, of using a bunch of different DeFi applications, then you will already have some points waiting for you. However, even if you have zero points or if you're just using a completely fresh wallet to farm this airdrop, you can still get in basically on the ground floor because this just launched a couple of days ago. So the first thing to do to secure some points, if you don't have any historical points, is to bridge to the mode network. Now, the more that you bridge, obviously the more points you're gonna get. So for this, I bridged 0.25 ETH, although you can select other tokens if you want to, including USDT, USDC, and wrapped Bitcoin. Now for the official main bridge, you have to bridge from the Ethereum mainnet and you can select which token you want to receive on the mode network. Now, I do recommend waiting until gas fees are low to make your bridge transaction from the mainnet because you'll save a lot of money. But once you're ready, just hit bridge and then confirm the transaction in your wallet. So this transaction here cost me about $4 to bridge that 0.25 ETH. So that is step one. And once you bridge some ETH, your points total will increase. Although note that this is an estimate and that the points will be officially confirmed and actually set in stone every Wednesday. So every week it will be officially updated. So currently there's three featured applications, Kim Exchange, Ionic, and Mode Naming Service. And you definitely should interact with all three of these at a bare minimum if you're not gonna interact with each and every single one in the ecosystem. So Kim Exchange, as you probably could have guessed, is just a simple DEX where you can swap to and from different cryptocurrencies. So go ahead and connect your wallet and then you're gonna wanna make a couple of swaps to and from different coins. So let's say I'm gonna start by swapping 0.05 ETH to USDT. Always make sure that the price impact of your swap is going to be as low as possible. So less than 0.5% is quite good. So I'm gonna hit proceed to swap and then I'm going to confirm this transaction in my wallet. Now, the other thing that you can do is to provide liquidity into one of the liquidity pools. So since I have ETH and USDT, I can make a deposit into the ETH USDT pool, but there's a couple of other different options here as well. I recommend sticking to the verified pools because with the unverified pools, you've got a bunch of random coins, meme coins and things that could go to zero at any point. So if you're dealing with large amounts of money, especially definitely just stick to the safe stuff. Now, the next app that you're definitely gonna wanna interact with is Ionic. So once you open the app and connect your wallet, these are the different assets that you can lend to the platform. You can supply USDC, USDC, USDT, wrapped Bitcoin, or wrapped ETH. So since I have some USDT in my wallet, I'm just gonna go ahead and supply some of that. And again, as with everything, the more that you supply, the better off you'll be. But even if you can just supply, say, 10 or $20, th that's better than not interacting with it at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and supply 50 USDT to the Ionic platform. This is a pretty simple process. You just have to confirm two transactions again in your wallet one to allow the token spending, and then the second is going to be to actually make the deposit. And the third and final must interact with application is the mode naming service, where you can get a .mode domain. Let's go ahead and register Crypto Cove with a C .mode. So this is only gonna cost $5 per year, which is on par with the Ethereum name service. So just a couple of clicks here, click register, and then confirm the transaction for $5 plus gas fees. And if you want to, you can actually link your social media profiles to the domain name as well as set a photo avatar. So you can just click on the edit button and change this information. It will charge you though to make these changes. It's gonna be small transaction fees, but there is a fee every time you change the records. So I'm just gonna leave that for now. Okay, so those are the three featured apps so far. It looks like there will be more coming as well as a bunch of different quests. That's it for now, although there probably will be more and there's gonna be more quests at some point. Stay tuned, I'll bring updates in my daily updates, but if you do all of those things right now, that's a pretty good start for you that should help you get going. So thanks so much for watching, hopefully you found this useful, and if you want to use my referral code for this, you'll definitely help out the channel.